Hey girl, I'm tired of you asking me what I do. You wanna know what I do? I wanna tell you what I do. This is what I do.
toward the Spring Street side. Look to your right. That is Spring Street. The emergency vehicles are at the top of the hill toward the Georgia Dome. We want to make sure that we get two people in time. So if you have someone, please walk them through the crowd now. Please, if you notice them before they pass out, please walk them through the crowd to the Spring Street side right now. And we'll connect you with emergency personnel. Sorry, man, we need a minute right in the middle. Let me, let me just say this. Let me just say this. Right here, hold your hand up. We need a minute right here. They got you. Let me just say this. When I called to the gallery, we asked that you would come for an hour and a half. If you give us 10 minutes longer, we're going to get you out of here. Before we leave today, we promised you that we were going to do some things, not just talk. Before we leave, we're going to plan to do something that everybody here will be able to be involved in. Let me, let me acknowledge the elected officials are here, the chairman of Fulton County Commission, Dr. John Eves is here, state representative, state senator, let's hear him. Take it away, Simon. All right, will you just introduce one? We'll bring him up to the microphone now. Again, if the emergency vehicles are at the top of Martin Luther King, I said Spring Street, I apologize, at the top of Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. At this time, we'd like to introduce Chairman of the Fulton County Commission, Mr. John Eves, and State Representative Abel Mabel Thomas. Ava! Are you fired up? Are you fired up? Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? When I say Scott, you say racism. Stop! Racism! Justice, you say now justice. My name is John Eves chairman of the largest county in the state of Georgia. One million residents. I grew up in Florida. I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. When I was growing up, one of my favorite songs was, Wake Up Everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more backwards thinking time to look ahead. My brothers and sisters, we saw backwards thinking in the verdict of Trayvon Martin. But my friends, this is a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call in terms of the injustice in the criminal justice system. The state of Georgia has the second highest number of people incarcerated than any other state in the entire United States. What? Our own backyard. Anybody need to register to vote? But it doesn't stop there. Metropolitan Atlanta, well, Fulton County, Cobb County, DeKalb County, Clayton County, and, Co and Gwinnett County have more people incarcerated in our jail. More black people. On any given day, 13,000 people are incarcerated in the Metro Atlanta jails, just as many as New York City. It doesn't stop there. Right here in Fulton County, 48,000 people went through our jail last year. 89% African males. 82% high school dropouts. 70% read on a fourth grade level. We got problems around the country, but we got problems right here in our backyard. So I'm reminded of Moses when he was leading the children of Israel from Egypt, and there was a Red Sea in front of him and mountains on the side. And they complained to, to Moses and said, why did you take us out of Egypt? Why did you take us out of places where we had jobs? Moses said, and he called to God, and God said, Moses, don't call to me, but what's in your hand? And Moses had a rod, and he used that rod, and he parted the Red Sea, and the people went through it. My brothers and sisters, we have something in our hands. Let's use the power of the ballot. Get registered to vote. Hold your elected officials accountable. Get involved in schooling. Get government to see the value of your education. Get government to see the value of staying in school. Get young men to see the value of not dropping out because we got too many of us in our criminal justice system. Just use what's in our hands. Thank you.
Mabel. All right, y'all. My name is Abel Mabel Thomas. Yes. Yes. I serve as state representative district fiction six. Well, what does that mean? What it means is that every day I'm in the street. The bottom line of this thing is that a lot of things have been said. Well, first give an honor to Revolutionary Jesus, give an honor to Prophet Muhammad. The Revolutionary Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, and all those sacred religions that are represented today. All right? I'm here to tell you that we must, as John E. said, we must stay in school because education is key. But what's going on in the public school system is not enough. So you got to have after school programs that are black liberation schools. You have to go back to the time when they teach our children who they are. So that they will understand the greatness of them. Because in situations like this, it makes you feel that you don't have power. But I'm here to tell you that we have power as a black people. We have power in the unity of black people. Is that right? something out to you. You know, when you put together a march or a rally like this, 
one of the things that you really worry about is rain, right? And if it starts to rain, what's going to happen? But I want you all to, to take pride in the fact that when the storm came, you stood your ground. While we are dealing with the storms of children being shot dead in the street, if all we do is just stand together and stand our ground, we can outlast that storm too. Now family, let me tell you, I am I'm Kevin Miles, I'm the Southeast Regional Director of the NAACP. I oversee all of the branches and all the units in Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Tennessee. And I'm very tired, very tired of coming to these rallies when we have some tragic situation like this. But I didn't just get tired. I was tired when we were rallying for Ariston Waiters who got shot down in yes. Union City. I was tired after Sean Bell. I was yeah. tired after Oscar Grant. Yeah. I was tired after Abdul Diallo. Yeah. I was tired after Ramali Green. Yeah. I was tired when Marissa Alexander got arrested for shooting up in the air. Yeah. We yeah. I was tired when John McNeil went to jail for trying to protect his own son and his own family in his own yard. Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, if you like me are sick and tired of being sick and tired, there comes a time when we have to move beyond anger to action. We've got to go beyond anger to action. Now we've talked a lot about reaching out to the justice system. I want to tell you that I just came back from Florida the day before yesterday. We had a meeting with Eric Holder, the Attorney General of the oh, United yeah. States. We have issued the call for them to bring federal civil rights charges against George Zimmerman. Yeah. But we're not done yet. We have a petition out there that you all can sign. The petition is located on NAACP.org. And if you don't get it there, you can get it on moveon.org. And in the time since the decision was rendered, we have already gathered two and a half million yes. signatures. Yes. But beyond that, we gotta keep on pushing. We've gotta push to make sure that we can do something about racial profiling. Some of you heard about a group called the Dream Defenders down in Florida who had been sitting in in the state capitol. Yeah. We have joined with them and they've joined with us. We're issuing one call and we need to do it here to put a stop to racial profiling. We need to make sure that we have citizens review boards that have actual teeth that can make sure that they're looking out for our community. And we need to make sure that we put an end to stand your ground. Yeah. Can we do that? Yes, yes. All of our communities, so we have no more Trayvon Martin. Let me register to vote. Presenting President Emeritus of Morehouse College, Dr. Robert M. Franklin. Today is a day for which we have much to be thankful. We should be thankful that Atlanta has leadership. Look at the leaders standing here on this stage. Atlanta has leadership. Let's give them a hand. Thank you, Reverend Hutchins. Thank you, Reverend Hutchins. Thank you, Reverend Hutchins. all the leadership here. Let's be grateful for Atlanta's educational institutions. Atlanta University and all the others, the students are here today. Yep. And they have prayed and they have marched. And it was students like you a few years ago, students named Maynard Jackson and Julian Bond, students like Mary Wright Edelman that helped change Atlanta and the world. But today is also a day of healing. I'm so glad we live in a country where the President of the United States has spoken out. 
You sit on that side a little bit. Two days ago at 7, the studio came in the building and I was on CNN. Studios. It spoke to Brooke Baldwin and Anderson Cooper and said the president needs to start a conversation. And I'm grateful we have a president who cares about the lives of young black children. But our president said, let us not lose sight of our progress and of what we have to be thankful for. Let us be thankful for one another. As we go from this mighty hill back into New York, let us carry the spirit of healing and reconciliation. Let us pray for Trayvon's family. Pray for Zimmerman's family. We are all God's children and songs are falling on your knees. Revolutionary art. 
artist, a soul rebel, Brother Bob Marley, please make everyone hear you and repeat after me. Get up, stand up! program 
Dr. Mayer. Bring back to the microphone civil and human rights activists who called us all together here today to help get us moving forward to help tell us what we are going to do now. Please welcome back to the podium Reverend Markel Hutchins. Everybody asked the question, when we leave the rally, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to answer that for you right now. First of all, no one should leave this rally and prayer vigil and unregistered voter. No one should leave this prayer vigil and rally and unregistered vote. Ms. Helen Butler, Ms. Rita Samuel, Reverend Albert Love, the Georgia Coalition for People's Agenda are registering voters. Now, if you are not a registered voter, if you are not a registered voter, don't leave unregistered. I want you to come right in this section right here, right here. They'll register you to vote today, right here. Why? Because jurors come from registered voters. Listen, our people deserve better than what B-37 gave us in Seminole County We have to do better, but we can only do better when you do better. If you're not registered to vote, first thing, don't leave here unregistered. Second thing, join something. I don't care what it is you join. Join something. Most importantly, if those, how many of you have children? You have disappointed the legacy of Trayvon Martin. If you don't leave this rally and go with school stars and join your son or daughter's school PTA. Join something. This number, we have 50 organizations represented here. Organizational leaders, National Action Network, all of you. I want the organizational leaders right down front to sign up people for your organizations right down front. If you're not a member of something, your number of organizations, y'all hear me? All the organizational leaders right down front. Second thing, join something. Third thing, join the NAACP's petition to repeal Stand Your Ground. Yes. And to call upon the Justice Department to do NAACP.org. Now, here's where it gets him. I've committed myself, Dr. Eves, to work with a team of attorneys to file again in an amended manner a lawsuit in the state of Georgia to repeal Stand Your Ground. Yes! Yes, brother. Yes. Peace. Yes. Peace and justice. Ah, love right, it, brother. love it. Reverend Warnock, 
is going to deal with the clergy. But this is what we can all do. We cannot let this moment and this movement die. I want everybody to take out your cell phone. Everybody take out your cell phone. Everybody. I don't care how famous or well-known you think you are. Everybody take out your cell phone. I want you to text the word justice. Let me tell you what we're going to do. You won't get frequent or random texts from us. I promise you that. You will not get frequent or random texts. We will not text you any more than is absolutely necessary. The next time we move, we need you to be moving with us. Whether we're standing against stands of ground in Georgia, we're working to repeal the legislation. I want everybody to text justice to this number. Two, five, eight, two, seven. One more time. Text the word justice to two, five, eight, Two, seven. We are birthing a movement here. We are birthing a movement. So y'all got it? That's the things we're gonna do. We're gonna do some other things. But y'all know what we need to do. Y'all got to get in this thing with us. So, if you're not registered to vote, I want you over here. They're gonna register. Way up high. Way up high. Register to vote there. Organizational leaders. National Action Network, NAACP, SCLC, People's Agenda, all the organizational leaders will be right down here toward the front. They will sign you up to be part of some organization. Hey, bro. You got anything you want to say to George Gentleman? George Zimmerman, you uh, won. Just, you know, How you yeah. doing? Oh, I need this in black. I'll just tell my cook my children about you. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, George Zimmerman, you wrong. You killed an innocent guy. You followed him. You stalked him down like an animal. And justice will be done. Thank you, sir. What's going on? Showcase for Unsigned Talent is looking for aspiring artists of all kinds. This is your opportunity to show the people who matter that you've got what it takes. Visit a showcase for unsigned talent.com and submit a short sample of the talent you believe the world should see. Agents, artists, studios, and industry insiders are looking for fresh unsigned talent. This is your chance. This is your chance. Visit a showcase for unsigned talent.com now.